Welcome to the Trading Lounge and the Day Ahead Report. And uh, as you know, the US markets were closed last night. Well, their stock market was. The uh, futures market continues to trade, but uh, on lower volume. And uh, also the um, Thanksgiving holiday will also have half a day off uh, tonight uh, in the US as well. So many traders pretty much take Thursday, Friday, <clears throat> and of course the weekend, a four-day uh, holiday over this period. So there's not really a lot of action that's going to come uh, from the US market so we can pretty much take our leads from the uh, the European markets um, yesterday we had strong PMI figures come out of uh, of China uh, so that's driven the market up to the our local market up to the 4400 which it should consolidate there as you can see here on the S&P 500 on the just 20 minute chart here as you know we've been tracking the five wave structure to the upside here um, so we've got the wave one wave two and five waves up, four wave three, and the four and the five. I think that's how it counts. And uh, look, so we're looking for some sort of uh, pullback uh, in, in due course. And um, uh, but the other thing that sort of concerns me a little bit is that um, when people come back from the US uh, holidays, they're normally quite positive and, uh, and uh, push things up a little bit. So we'll see what happens there. But um, look, we in one way or another, we're expecting some type of corrective pattern within this sort of area here. Here, um, and that would leave the Dow Jones uh, close, pulling back to the 12,800 mark here. So just a two hour chart here, um, but the same sort of pattern as you can see here to the upside. We've got an impulse wave up here. So we, we're getting some type of correction come back. The support's in this area through here and we'll see another push to the upside. So uh, some of our long trades will get stopped out during this period through here, um, but we'll, for the time being, we'll stay with uh, with going to the long side because there may be just another little wave in here. So I can see that there's one, two, three, four, and this into here would be the five, but we've got this little one here, this one, two here. So it may be a third, a fourth, and a fifth here before we see that fold back. So uh, we'll just see how we go there. And that's the same for the European markets as well. So the FTSE here, same sort of patterns, sort of a one hour chart here, uh, just giving a diff slightly different view here. Um, but much the same thing as well, it's tracked really nicely uh, up through here. I thought it would have had more problems than it did at the uh, 57.72, but uh, there it goes. So the next number we'll be looking at will be the 5.8 through there. So um, we can expect some sort of... Uh, corrective pattern to sort of unfold through here as well but the good news is as, as I mentioned the other day is that you know we do have an impulse structure here so um, it's you know we, we'll be going further up and it's uh, simple as that so that's all all good the um, the Australian market uh, had um, which is having a look here just um, We had nice volumes come in yesterday through here, which is nice. Um, but we're at the uh, at the close to the 4400 uh, here, so we should see some sort of consolidation through here. Um, but uh, yeah, so we've got resistance at the 38.2 retracement level through here, and we've also got um, a from this particular high here because that would be in one way or another, whichever way you look at it, from that high there, that would be a particular structure through there, and we've got a 50% retracement level through there as well. So we should be seeing ourselves consolidate around uh, the 4400 here. Even if there is another little push up through here, then we'll see this sort of unfold back in through here as well. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're left really trading the... Um, the uh, subgroup one area through here and the way we could sort of look at this is up for one here back for two here up for three back for four and making one more new high here to make five and then uh, then coming back into here um, but as always um, look we've got a positive situation th happening through here the worst sort of scenario that could pos possibly happen I guess would be a 61.8 retracement level so if I took it from the 4400 there just to allow another little wave structure up there the 61.8 retracement level would be down through here so we do have our support here um, so uh, you know as I mentioned before being the market's positive as long as it's above the 43.50 here um, so we can sort of lift that up a little bit um, so we should see 
uh, you know, a move up, but um, some type of correction across the 4400 that would find support at the subgroup two area here. So once that support, sort of a three wave price action comes in, then we should see further upside uh, from from there as well. Um, yeah, so um, let's have a look at the uh, the commodities as we're seeing a lower US dollar, which is positive for commodities because they're traded in, in dollars. So let's have just looking at copper to start with here, we're working through this particular triangle pattern through here, and triangle patterns would be seeing this as an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, a D wave, and an E wave for four, and then a move down through here. Uh, in this move coming down through here, we're looking at this little uh, rally through here at the moment. So if we just sort of drill in here for a moment, um, we're basically looking this this move through here at the moment. It does appear to be corrective in uh, in in nature, and we'll be looking at that as an A and a B and a C wave in five waves coming down through here and looking at this as a wave, as a possible wave four here and one more little move down through here. Um, yeah, so just sort of drilling into that that uh, into into that sort of little pattern through there is this little pattern here, this this A, B and C here. So that's the, that's the way I'm sort of reading it at the moment. But um, if we find support on the on the 350 here, then I'd be looking at this uh, in, in more of a positive light uh, as such. So um, as mentioned before, look, as long as it pretty much stays above the, uh, the, the next level down, which is the 345, then the market's positive. But we can lift this up to the 346 because I can see where that's the support area there. Um, so yeah, look, I just, there's not a lot I can say or do through here. We are seeing a, um, a weaker US dollar, if I can just bring that up, which would, which, a weaker US dollar, which would sort of lift this price back up onto the, uh, 350 there and, and above. So when we're looking at the, the US dollar, uh, index here, um, as you can see, we, um, and I'll explain this more in, uh, in, in the FX section here, but um, as you know, we've just been working, you know, through the 81 here, and in it, and it's been moving down low in accordance with everything. Um, but I'm still not sort of convinced uh, just yet because it is in three waves to the downside, so it can be an A and a B and a C down through here. I do understand that this move down through here um, would. Uh, you know, retest its its trend um, as as they do, um, and that normally occurs from the group two area here, subgroup two. So we should see some sort of effort to retest supply and resistance up through here. So if that finds support back up here, well then that would be uh, a slightly bullish uh, environment then. So just need to be a little bit sort of patient there uh, to see if we're going to get lower prices through here because we're basically looking for a larger impulse wave to the downside and once we get that then that would confirm uh, indices up, currencies up and commodities up um, but we don't have that five waves yet, we have we have three waves, that's the bottom line there so um, that's they're the facts, um, the guessing game is assuming that um, it's going to unfold in five waves to the downside. Right, um, the gold market is um, hasn't really done a lot. Um, well, you know, the US markets have been closed, but um, we're looking at this being a five wave structure to the upside, and we're looking for wave two to be in place and wave three to move to the upside. I'm a little bit hesitant about the wave two here as such. Um, it is possible that the wave two could be over here and we could have this little uh, wave B uh, in here somewhere and a wave C over here, just a larger um, ABC correction, so to speak. So um, that's a real possibility. Um, and it hasn't taken out these highs here where silver has. So when we have a look at silver through here, it's sort of chuffed on uh, to the upside. Um, it's got a bit more to 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 go there by the by the looks of it, so it's a bit it's a bit stronger. So we've got this um, little wave one and wave two into here somewhere. The third wave here, nice and strong. The fourth wave here, it may get a little bit more complicated through here. Um, that high there is above that one, so technically I could put that uh, wave five uh, here as such. 
Um, but this, let's just see uh, how that goes, um, because if the extension is in wave three here, we should see um, a little, you know, a bit more of a, the distance here of wave one. We should see that uh, here. So it's got some support on the on top of group one. So that's a, that's a positive thing. If it drops under this low here, then you know that we're going to be looking at an A and a B and a C back into here. So um, we just really have to wait for the US markets to to reopen on the um, on the Monday for that. Let's have a look at um, the uh, the US dollar in a bit more detail and uh, also the euro and FX. Okay, the US dollar here, just a bit more detail here that um, you know, we're assuming that um, we're, we're looking for uh, a larger five ways to the downside and, and have a top in play. But as I just mentioned, we've, uh, this is also uh, in three waves here, so an ABC. So we need to be mindful of that. Um, if it's going to be moving further to the downside, then we should see a retest from group two here. And the retest would be this particular trend line coming through here and also the 81 here. So somewhere in here, it should sort of retest uh, within here and try and perhaps close that gap within here. Um, and then if it's going to be going to the downside, then we should see it roll over from that point. But uh, technically, uh, without the levels and the trend lines and so forth, the 61.8 retracement level is another thing that we can look for, which is just above the 81 as well here. So uh, that's what we we'll are be looking for, some sort of A, B, C here, and then folding over from that side. So as this is moving up through here, we're going to see uh, indices pull back. So when we have a look at, um, so the Australian dollar, for instance, here, then uh, just keeping this sort of really simple through here, the one, 104 is the resistance through here. This pot, this wave structure that we got in here is, is positive to the upside, so we should see it push further to the upside. The thing is, is that um, it's got to uh, retrace a little bit. So um, as this move up through here is retraced back, this move up here, it also needs to retrace back as well. The group two that it's working through, through here, the 80, 72 and 65, the 65, is also the 61.8 retracement level from that low to that high there. So we should see it sort of dance around in here somewhat um, before we see a move to the upside uh, through here. So uh, how that will play out, I'm not quite sure. Um, but just give it a little bit of patience. It's, if you're unsure of these things, it's just, uh, you know, if, if this low gets taken out here, then it's it's going to be moving to the downside. If it takes out this trend line through here, then it's also, you know, it's got a sign of weakness. I see if it comes down below the 61.8 in this particular case uh, that'll be sort of so basically if it breaks this weakness if you keep the stops under here and get small positions uh, through here on on the way up once you see it moving up um, just buy at different prices and um, yeah spread the risk um, scale in and scale out um, is a way to go um, but we're looking for a breaking of the 104 uh, high here but we need a correction here to establish a foundation for it to do that to, to move to the upside the uh, the euro here okay we've got the bigger picture here so um, let's talk about this for a second so essentially we're looking for an a wave a b wave a c wave in five waves to here to complete this structure here and as you know we're looking to the upside through here so um, yeah look as you know the um, the obviously the, the resistance is you know going to be facing uh, all the way up to, to the 130 and, and, and above. So, um, yeah, but anyway, looking quite good so far. As you know, we uh, we got the turn down here pretty much spot on, and we're looking at this structure moving to the upside through here. This structure to the upside here doesn't really count as a beautiful, clean uh, impulse wave, five wave structure. We knew that we had little five waves in here. Um, so knowing we had five there, we knew that we'll get another five, which we've got to here. Um, so this is this is probably counting out in uh, up for one and back for two, then up for one and back for two, then up for one and back for two. The um, the other point that's worth pointing out through here is that um, the each little trend here is is getting stronger, so um, that's a positive sign for for a bullish market. So that's good. Um, of course, we're at the 129 here. That's where supply and resi technical resistance starts here. So there is going to be some sort of reaction from there. The 128.50 is the first level of support. We've we got something in here. Okay, it's a bit 
bit better there. So the 128.50 in here is support. Um, as you can see here so far, we've got um, we've got a three wave correction through here. So we've got like a little A, a little B, and a little C. So if the price does dance back up above the 72 there, you could go along from that point. Uh, if this does unfold to the downside here, then you'll be looking at five waves down in terms of down for one, back for two, down for three, four, and five. So just see, if you get five waves down here, then you know you're going to get three back and then another five. So five waves in the opposite direction will give you, uh, and this is the opposite direct, this is going up here with one direction, five waves in this direction, which would be the opposite direction of this trend here. Then um, if we get five waves here after a correction, we'll get another five here. So then we'll see it fold back into the the, uh, the 28 here. So um, yeah, just see, just work out if we're going to get uh, five or three here at the moment at three. So if it does move up through there, then you've got a long trade from that point there. If it moves down through here somewhere and then gets back up on the 50 of support, then you can go along from uh, that point there as well. Alrighty, well, um, that's it. So uh, good morning and good luck and enjoy the day ahead and the weekend. Cheers.